What up, homies? So, really exciting stuff. We're gonna head out to the shop. Sam has finally torn apart our next project. We still gotta pull the motor out, but we're gonna pull the motor out because every single bike that we work on or build, we take completely apart no matter where it was at. Start over because, uh, yeah, most of the time these things are put together horribly. We like to put them together correctly. So we're gonna pull this motor and then Jeff and I are gonna go shopping for parts and get all the killer bits to make a killer chopper. Mm, yum, yum. Mm. Blueberry, dry as fuck, fucking, I don't know, some kind of bar. Anyways, probably some parts in here we're gonna use, bro. Anyway, is Sam ready for us yet? Yeah, well, yeah. Thought he was fucking ready, dude. Well, right, here it is. Supposedly, it's a pan head. I don't know these things, but that's what I was told. Uh, it's got a cool frame. It's got a hard tail. Looks primo, you know? Mmm, look at all that. Crispy, crusty mess. This bike is a blue tag. For those that aren't familiar with this, it's a California thing. Don't show the... Too many of the deeds. <laughs> Not that it matters because although it's a panhead, it doesn't have a VIN. These are aftermarket cases, and uh, this might be this might be an aftermarket like maybe it's a B twin frame or something. But nonetheless, I bought this bike as a somewhat built chopper from a buddy, and. Uh, Classic. There are a lot of friends that don't like to finish their motorcycles. So I get them from them. And we'll actually finish it. But anyways, we'll build this thing out. It'll be a good deal for somebody because it's not, you know, like all original Harley shit. So this will be an affordable pan head. It'll look as good as any other cool pan head chopper. It'll just be a fraction less in cost. Are you ready now? Do it. This guy's ready? Oh, dude, and shit, bro. Freaking Crispy Co. Engine stand? How cool is that? That is rad. We're gonna put, this is gonna be the first pan head to go in one of these fucking badass Crispy Co. Just gotta throw it out there, dude. Check the link below. You can buy these on our website on crispychoppers.com. Cause we're fucking business folk. I'm gonna manhandle this thing. I think I feel like it's putting it down here though. I don't work that hard. Make sure, I, make sure I don't drop it. These engine stands fit beautifully. Find the hole, Sam. Got it. It's not his first rodeo. There it is, dude. Oh god, these are not light. <laughs> so here we go. We got our pan head engine. Super dirty. We'll go through and clean it up. To a degree, we don't want things too clean, but we'll check everything. We'll find, we'll freaking do tune-uppers, all this. I already knew this bike, it ran, because the guy I got it from ate shit on it, so he clearly was riding it when he beefed it. Um, that's another story. This will all get kind of cleaned up a little bit. Look at that. They've shimmed it, that's good. These are important, I can't lose these, because that, so, I guess they're saying the engine needed to be shimmed. So that's important stuff. All right, Hef. So I will tell you, I have kind of an idea of how I want to build this bike. We're going to grab a round of parts. What we'll do, hey Sam, let's, we'll make this really, uh, oh man, this is locked. Let's uh, push this over there. What'd you do with those plates? Oh, I put them in the engine. Oh, okay, cool. Let's just set this over there so when we bring all the parts out, it'll look super cool. Does this still have a break on? Yeah. All right. Right there. You want to help me grab stuff, dude? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go grab some stuff out of the parts room. I don't even want to use that Springer. So I promise I didn't go staging parts in here to go pick from. I may have grabbed some things and then put them back because I wanted to make it fun for you guys and see how this all works out. I really did go shopping originally. My name is Boom. Here's a cool spool front. Rad, crazy cool tire. Ready to go. Bam, let's rock that guy. Um, here is an 18 
juice drum. Pulled it off a bike we just recently got. That was a swing arm chopper build that we'll be getting hardtailed, but this 18 was a little too, too big of a deal for that bike. That's panhead stuff. Okay, so we got wheels. Tins are gonna be out there. Um, no front brake. I'm sure there's more little bits. Oh, we need a transmission. We need a transmission, we need a transmission. All right, these wheels are coming with us. I'll grab that. Where, Where is that? Oh no, it's not that transmission. So don't mind, this room is not done yet, but it is housing some of our bits. But this is the correct transmission for that bike. Sam's grabbing the front end over here. Boom. Okay. But here's the transmission. This is technically just a mock-up transmission. My homie uh, that has a Mystery Machine Co. He actually has a transmission from this bike. That was part of what put this bike down. Uh, something with fifth gear brass bushing exploded, messed up the transmission. That's why the bike went down and then started getting fucking pillaged. And then I ended up with it. But we'll mock up with this tranny until we get that transmission from him. Here's our fork. We're just gonna set it up all over here nice and, come on man, where's all the, I thought we were, uh, what's it called? Nolling? Nolling people, dude. Where's all the Nolling? So, this is a new Springer. This is an aftermarket frame, aftermarket Springer, aftermarket engine, whatever. I'm not gonna put, like, we've got original Springers. This bike's gonna get kind of all aftermarket stuff. I guess it's still, oh, the brakes are gone? It sure wants to move. Anyways. We're gonna make this look older, though. I have ways to age this stuff, because that's way too fucking new and nice. Fenders, I'll be honest, I already kind of chose my fender. I want to use this fender. I think that would be cool. We'll also make this guy look a little bit older. There's our fender. Oh man, we might need, um, oh, I'm just kidding. There's a bunch of tanks right here. Sorry. Here's a Wassel tank. Sometimes these tunnels are really thin though. I don't know if this will actually fit. It will once we clearance some of that. We'll do that Wassel tank. Um, oh dude, should we go not? Our handlebars are not hung up yet. Did. Yeah, we're gonna do these bars. And what we'll do, because these bars actually came with a different front end. So, this is real time build design, dude. We're gonna steal this top clamp, because it is also aftermarket. Those bars were originally attached to that. Uh, oil tank, oil tank. So we got the oil bags, we got that, we got the front wheel, we got that, we got that. Okay, um, I am such a sucker for the day. I think I want to do a hexer, dude. And this one leaks oil everywhere. It's okay, we need to finish these tables anyway. You just use dirty oil. Yeah. Sick, dude. Art. Lights? Headlight, tail light. Oh, sissy bar? Seat? I feel like, oh my god, yes, the seat. Are you guys <laughs> fucking ready? I'm gonna pull two seats down. We need. 
because, okay. You know a butt seats theme. You may not know that, but you'll notice on a lot of the bikes, there's always butt seats. Dude, I like want to try to use this. Maybe. It oh, might yeah. work on this bike, dude. Or we'll just do this brown one. But I don't wanna, I don't think I wanna do a solo pee pad seat on this one. Like we've been doing that on every bike. So I wanna really try out one of these. Golden brown? Golden brown. Texture oh, dude, like that's sun. like a song. Yeah. You know that song? Golden brown, texture Golden like sun. Brown. I don't, I'm not gonna try to sing because I'm not a singer. I'm hardly even a fucking bike builder. So then, and both of these are set up for that ribbed wassel, I think. I don't know. I'll talk to our, our guy. Is that like too much? I don't know. Let's see it, dudes. We'll see if it makes it. Or this guy. So, um, lights. Oh, and exhaust. This was stuff that we had already taken off the bike. So it does have like a nice little upswept. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, that was, I had one now. <laughs> Fucking squirrels. Squirrels, dude. Hiding their nuts. Bike's been sitting for a second. Um, headlights and tail lights. Oh man. Um, this is tough. I feel like I'm not gonna like fully commit, but. You wanna get some options and look at them on that fork? Yeah. Maybe a thin round guy. A thin round guy? That's so tiny. Um, or that, I about to, that square guy next to the, yeah, the one Sam's touching. That one, it's a little too beat up. Too beat up. Like this bike is like, it's got its aging, but it's not aged enough to like run. Do we have a cleaner version of that? That um, shape? Oh, we do. This one's dope, dude. I was gonna sell this front end anyways. But that thing's sick, right? Oh yeah, that's rad. Oh, that's pretty strapped on there. Anyways, we got that, and then tail lights. Um, I don't know. Get there when we get there. We might get there when we get there, but I'm just gonna do this right now. I think if we could make this chrome doggy, I mean a uh, square rectangle, I think that's a cool tail light, especially with the. Hex bag, I think it's kind of sick. Um, there's lots more shopping that probably needs to be done. Um, but I think for now, all of this would get us into a roller. And really after that, we get into a roller. This is fun. I've never actually done that before to this degree. I think that was cool. Uh, let's see how much of it sticks. Like I said, we got two seat options. Hopefully the rest of that exhaust is just hanging up. There, I think that's it right there. That's the other pan exhaust. Has the same clamp as the front, the one you took off, right, Sam? Uh, similar, not the same. Not oh, cool. no, yeah, that it is. is the same. Cool. Right. And that's that other exhaust. And then, uh, oh, dude, we got crazy tips to pick from. Honestly, where's that lap, dude? I say we fucking. Let's just fucking keep it weird. These are, these are pretty badass. These are like really cool. I say we make them work. Uh, cherry picking, dude. I'm so stoked. I'll tell you what, back in the day before the shop, we, uh, Everything was just in bins, so it was really hard to find stuff. Having everything just sprawled out is the fucking best. Oh! We will be doing a belt drive or a chain drive with uh, primary stuff. And actually, once again, this bike's kind of clean. I think I know where the primary is at. If we're gonna, it's clean, but we're gonna make it dirty still. So. There's a nice primary. The, that bike has a 
splined main shaft in the front. Here's all of the belt drives. Um, I think that's a more time consuming process to pick that stuff out. We're just trying to pick out all the fun stuff, you know? Oh man, we can make this a fucking air cleaner. You want me to do it? We got the helmet to match. I'll fucking do it. Let's do it. All right, this is gonna be the air cleaner. Rawr. Is it cool or is that gonna be fucking stupid? You know what? It's only stupid if you say it's stupid. If you say it's cool, it's cool. I think that's a fucking good start. All right, for the viewers, it's only gonna take like 30 minutes to build this thing. For us, it's gonna take like a few weeks. <laughs> But that's better than a few years or a few months because that's what it takes for some builds too. But we'll see if we can do this quick enough. Anyways, um, here goes our pan head build. 